Right, today I'm doing a Roblox Studio tutorial. Well, not really like, well, kind of like a tutorial, but but I gu I'm guessing this is the beautiful Rose plugin. I did do a tutorial on it before. I have done a tutorial on it before and um, how to do it. But I'm guessing anyone who does use this plugin would probably realize this. How do you do terrain within the roads because it's curved? I mean, if you're smart enough, you'll probably be able to make wedges with um, along with the curve. But if you're not like that, and you don't really, and, it, and you think, and you're and you're struggling to basically do that, in this video, I will show you how to do that with a ease, basically. So the plugins you need is obviously the beautiful roads plugin otherwise you wouldn't really be following this tutorial correctly and this plugin this is the gap filler plugin so here i've started work here this is this is like where i've, I've started work on it so basically what i'm doing here is at the moment I can't click this road and if you have you have to have the explorer open you can put the blind because I can barely see my curtains because I can barely see the screen but here like, I can click on these but I can't click on that and that's because that's a newer road to this so basically to do, click on that Go into workspace and click this roads plugin and then go to this arrow here and click unlock all. That allows, it will unlock that as well, but that's already unlocked. So that unlocks that, which now allows this plugin to do it. Because before it didn't allow that plugin to do it, use it. But now it does allow a plugin. And for, it does do it to the lines, you've got to be careful. I don't know what on earth is going on with that, um, that shadow. But yeah. And that's what I'm doing here. I've been joining it up. So like I've been joining it to the road. And um kind of making a shape form like this. Making a shape form. like that I'm trying to I'm basically doing this and basically just coming along like that and going round and then filling up this and going down and round I'm just basically doing that. Yeah, that went a bit funny. But like, I'm just gonna do one stuff. Maybe that'll do it. Plate then? Mm, no, thinnest. Let's see, that works. So basically, I'm just doing it like that. And and you might think that's grey and boring. We don't want that as terrain. That's not really that good terrain. Well, how to change it is every time you gap fill this plugin, it inserts wedges. As I've just lit, as there's lots of wedges here, it inserts lots and lots of parts. And like I'd name all your um like parts that aren't in models in the workspace. So then you don't, you know, colour the wrong thing, do the wrong thing. And I um, and I could just almost say colour there. And basically what you do is once you've done with the terrain, say that's done, you get all of the wedges and everything it formed. Select them all. I don't know why on earth there's one over here. Gee, why is there actually one there? 
Don't do that. Hold that. But anyway, I'm going to select all of the wedges and things that it has, and then basically set it to the right colour and set it to grass or whatever you want your thing to be, and then set it to the correct colour. Like, that's not quite the correct colour, it was a darker colour that I have. Darker. But yeah, like that. And then I would recommend you group it and then call it like, oh, what the, when, what the hell, why is it a bit like that? And then group all your wedges. Control G and call it like side or something this like side so like side terrain it doesn't really oh you obviously you've got to know it's terrain and then basically that's how it is if oh yeah the base gets dark but yeah that's how it is it just makes a nice smooth terrain between the roads by doing that or you could just do like a green flatness, but then if you go up a hill, it's not exactly as good when you can't really do the flatness because it's smoothly going up the hill. So that is how you would do that. You would do it like that. And make a nice smoothing terrain and join it to more roads and thing, things like that and that is basically how you would do this I mean obviously if it's like something really sort of something like that I mean it's a bit pointless because it'll actually make it look probably I mean if you want a sidewalk that's a bit different you can kind of use the same thing but I'll probably hopefully need to work that out and use it in a different tutorial but obviously if you have something down here it's pretty easy what you need to do for a sidewalk. So you want the beach here. That's pr that's pretty easy what you want it to do for a sidewalk and how you would do it. Because it's just a plain part. Like you'd literally say, I mean the sidewalk isn't going to be grass and I'm not going to keep this part. I'm just going to show you what you would do. Just scale it down and just scale it across like just wait ages and 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 there you've got like the sidewalk thing I don't want to use that as a nice sidewalk but that's how you would do it why I've just noticed why does that go so far up in the air why does that go so far in the air it's just a signal not making moss script ew ew Look, well, it's all the traffic lights. Look, look at that, it's all the traffic lights. But yeah, if you're wondering how to use this plugin, I have already done a tutorial of that, of the traffic light plugin, with my tutorial. It's in the same video as the tutorial on this beautiful roads plugin. This is a very, very simple plugin. It really isn't. This one's a bit more confusing, but it still does its job. It's not like super confusing. It might be a little bit confusing, but it isn't super confusing. If you know what I mean. So yeah, very short video again. I think I will wrap it up for this video. So if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe in this video. And if this video helped you, well, I'm glad about that. As I said before. So, goodbye.